Simple rule of modern eating. Fatty foods in huge portions are bad for you. Two studies out today that draw the same disturbing conclusion. Americans are not winning their battle against obesity. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. The finest ingredients are brought together with loving care, then slow cooked to perfection. Yes, the old ways are still best at Los Pollos Hermanos. All I need is a comfortable chair. And KFC's delicious new Georgia Gold, available at Extra Crispy Chicken, a Chicken Little Sandwich, or Extra Crispy Tenders. Wendy's is adding the double stack as an option in the four for four for a limited time. With a quarter pound of fresh beef, that's a deal so good it should not exist. This is not food, by my definition. It's not food? No. If you look at processed food, the three buttons that are consistently pushed by the food scientists are sweet, fat, and salt. Our bodies uh, have not, are not well adapted to the food environment we're in. There's a, there's a disconnect now between what we evolved to like and what's now available to us. Nearly 60% of our daily calories come from ultra-processed foods, and of that, 20% is sugar. The study also shows Americans get less than 1% of their calories from vegetables. I joined the Austin Fire Department in 1997, and I, I was convinced that every shift I'd be making a big old burner like this one here. <laughs> the reality is, the reality is, over 80% of our calls, and this isn't just in Austin, this is in San Francisco, this is in Ch Chicago, New York, over 80% of our calls, we are responding to and fighting Western disease. So we get to see up close and front the destruction that is being caused by the fork and the knife, and it is absolutely disheartening. Both public health advocacy groups not only found obesity rates up in 28 states, but also that more than a quarter of the population is obese in two-thirds of the states. But why, if we know this is going on, do we keep putting on weight? Damn, Which is, TV uh, does add 10 pounds. 10 pounds. There were a number then there's a whole set of theories built on how we eat it, which several of our reports found is mostly without thinking. They didn't have any idea how many calories they were taking in. I could drink a two liter a day. So two liters a day of Mountain Dew is how many calories, do you know? No idea, I never had to think about it. Just say no to delicious, cheap, and convenient ultra-processed foods and embrace whole foods, ones with no ingredient list that you'll find on the perimeter of the grocery store. I have to hear one more time that you did this for the family. I did it for me.